Hey guys, welcome back to Minnesota. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool amazing bar right here. And basically what this is, is a mini rice cooker. You can see it from this brand right here. So if you guys are curious about the size of the actual product, it's 1.2 liters. And it requires 200 watts power when you guys do use it. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open up and show you guys what the inside looks like. Alright, so when you guys first open up, inside the product is all well packaged. So they do have the protection layer inside. But let's take it out. Once you guys take out the first layer, you can see there's a bunch of stuff inside. But let's take it all out. So first thing inside right here, they do probably got the cable that's going to plug in to activate the bottom. So this is what the cable looks like. Next one right here, they probably got a scooper or a spoon that you can use to scoop the rice. If you see the way how they designed the spoon, it does have a smiley face, which is pretty cute. And then for the back part right here, you can see we do have an option for you guys to hang somewhere if you guys want to. And last but not least, we do have the actual product. If you can see it's actually pretty small. So first thing I should take off the wrapper first. Alright, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. If you see the one that we got right here is a green color. They also have this available in a gray color as well. So if you guys prefer the gray one, you can get that instead. But right here in the front, we do have the brand logo. And right here in the bottom, we do have the display screen. And right underneath that, we do have a bunch of buttons. So there is a brown rice, white rice button, porridge and soup button, stew and kick, keep warm and cancel, and delayed start button. So depending on what you guys want to use it for, you guys can choose it based on your own preference. And the bottom, if you can see, we do have like a non-slip material. So that way, when you guys to put it on a flat surface or a table, it won't move around. The back part right here is where you can plug in the cable to activate the product. And right here on top is where the steam will come out. So when you got to cook in the rice, you don't want to put your hand on here because it will get hot. And right here, we do have the button for you to push to open it. So if you guys press on it one time, that will open it up. So if you can see, this is what the inside looks like. So the top part right here is removable. So that way you can wash it on both sides and put it back on. And obviously if it's the first time using the product, you do want to wash everything before you guys use it. So that way everything is clean. But the way how you guys put it back on is actually really easy. Just push it in just like this. And it's all set. And inside right here, we see this bunch of stuff. So let's take it out first. So right here, they do probably got the measuring cup that can use the measure of the water and the rice. Right here, they do probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And then right here, we see we do have the actual pot. So we're gonna take it out. Here's what the inside the pot looks like. And here's the outside. So both on the outside and also for the inside, they do have the measurements so that way you know how much to add. And you guys can see the material that's inside is like a non-stick material. So that way when you got cook rice in here, it shouldn't stick. But you can see the pot right here is actually pretty small because like I mentioned, it can make up to like two cups of rice. So maybe if you guys are living by yourself, then that is where one of these actually comes in handy. But when you guys do hear the material, it is a high quality material. And then right here is basically what the inside looks like. So that is basically everything that's on the pot. Now I'm just going to go plug this in and test it out to show you guys how it works and when I should work first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. Alright, so once you guys plug in the product, you guys can start the process of washing the rice. So when you guys do one cup of rice, you guys want to fill it to number two inside the actual pot. And if you guys do two cups, then you guys want to fill it to four. Let me actually open up the inside to show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm not sure if you can see the inside or not, but right here where it says four, that is how much water you guys want to add up to when you guys do the two cup option. But if you guys only do one cup, then you guys want to fill it to two. So I'm actually going to wash the rice first and then we'll add it in. Alright, so that's a little bit less than two cups. So you guys want to add it to the line where it says four in terms of the water level. But obviously before you guys do any of that, you guys want to wash the rice first. So you probably want to wash it like two times or three times. Or if you guys want to do it one time, that's up to you guys. Alright, so we just finished the rice. Let's put the pot back inside. And you guys want to close the lid. And you guys want to select what you guys want to use. So in this case, we're going to be cooking white rice. So what you guys want to do is press on the first button twice. And we see the red indicator light right there. So that is how you guys know you guys are using white rice. So you guys want to let it do its own thing and come back and check on it. Alright, so the rice is still cooking. But we see right now there's a lot of steam that's coming out. So the product definitely does work so far. And I also love the way how they designed the spoon because it fits perfectly on top like this. Alright, so once it finished, it makes the beeping noise and you can see right now it's keeping warm the actual rice. So if you guys want to cancel it, you basically want to press on cancel. Alright, so that is how you guys cancel it. If you guys want to turn back on the keep warm option, that will turn back on the keep warm option. So very easy and very simple for you guys to use it and you do have all these different options available for you guys. Brown rice, white rice, porridge, soup, stew, kick, keep warm and delay start. Alright, so let's open up and see what the inside looks like. If you guys press on the button, this is what the final product looks like. If you can see, the product definitely does work. So if you guys want to use a little spoon that I provide for you guys, 
you definitely have the option available. I think we added too much water, but the actual product definitely does work. So I'm just gonna leave it in for a little bit longer so that way it can kind of cook a little bit longer. Welcome back guys. So now this is a quick test product and definitely actually does work and should work quite well. So whether if you guys want to make soup in here, porridge, if you guys want to make rice, you guys can definitely use it how you guys want to. But I've been seeing from the test, once you guys finish cooking the rice, it activates like the keep warm option automatically. So supposedly for the product, it does have a built-in timer option to help you guys keep warm for 24 hours and it will turn off by itself afterward. So maybe if you guys are busy, but you guys want to make dinner for you guys to come home after work, you guys can definitely turn it on to cook the rice. And by the time you guys come back, you guys can eat the rice. So that way you can save some time when you guys actually come home from work. But the way how they designed the product is actually pretty cool. It's so small and compact that you guys can definitely use it at home, in the office, when you guys are traveling or anywhere else. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality rice cooker that's super compact and minimal like the one that we got right here. That I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that should you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.